we're going to be using a ceiling electric field that's blue and it's level 10. We're going to use a ceiling gas trap that's level 10 and blue, a floor freeze trap that's level 10 and blue, a wall launcher that's level 10 and blue, a wall dynamo that's level 9 and blue, and a wooden floor spike that's uh, level 7 and green. So you can use better traps if you have them. I encourage you to use better traps if you have them. If you have a legendary epic, use them. If you don't have a rare, no big deal. Try to get as much utilization out of them as possible and upgrade them as you can. Make sure you level these up and you can use higher ones if you want and if they're better perked, by all means use them. But this is what we're using for the build. Anyways, let's get onto the build guide. What's going on guys? My name is Mitch Robs and today we're going to be talking about Storm Shield Defense 6 in Stonewood. So we're going to be building off of my last video where we talked about Stonewood SSD5. Um, big shout outs to Alchemist Lion. This is his ultimate account, or alternate account. Uh, so thank you so much to him um, for letting me allow, allowing me to use it. But we're going to be going over Storm Shield Defense 6 today. So Storm Shield Defense 6, you get to put your third amplifier. So we have A and B, which we've already placed. Now we get to place our C amp. So we place this amp over here to the southwest. All right, so let's go over these spawns real quick and then we'll go over the theme of today. So for the south build, they spawn right here, all the way across here, right? And then they spawn for the west build, up on this hill up there where that plateau is. They spawn down there, and then they spawn all the way over here. So what we're going to do is we are going to figure out um, how to build this real quick. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go over the theme of today, and the theme is we're going to be pathing using walls and um, floors. So how, how are we going to accomplish that? So if we have a tunnel like this right here. If we uh, have our objective going to be at that corner of our uh, wood right there, the husks are going to walk through this tunnel and they're going to go along this little left side of the wall because that's going to be the quickest path towards their objective. So say we have a tunnel right there, so they're going to come right here and they're going to go like that. So say we had another section of our tunnel and we had a gas trap right here. If they go along this little section, they're only in this little tile for like a really, really short amount of time. So our goal for this is to add pathing using edited walls so that they have to walk along the right side and then they have to path this way so they're in there a little bit longer. Or floors, for example, let's use this floor. So they have to walk around this floor and they have to walk into this. So that's going to be our theme of today. So we're going to go through and we're going to tear down old objectives that we don't need anymore. And we're also going to um, put uh, updates to the SSD5 that we ran. Now the SSD5 is going to be perfectly fine for you if you're running SSD5, but these are going to make your builds even stronger. So here's what we're going to do. From now on, if you look at our amplifier that we placed, husks don't spawn from that side anymore towards B amp and for A amp. So we can tear down our B, so uh, this northwest amplifier south. So we're going to tear this down. So all of this we can tear down, right? Because it's not going to be needed anymore. It's not going to get attacked anymore. And we can also tear down the uh, A, which is our um, E stamp. We can tear that down from the west. So we tore that down. We're tearing this down. We still need uh, our northwest amp or our B amp for the west. But we definitely uh, don't need this little tunnel anymore. We can tear that down as well. We can also take this ramp off. Okay, so now we have that side clear because it won't be attacked anymore because the spawn used to be right over here where this amplifier is, but since we have the amplifier, they won't spawn there. So if we look for our A, all of these builds aren't needed anymore. So we can tear this down right here. Alright, and that's one of the cool things about placing these amplifiers is you get updated spawns each time. So we're going to take all that down right there. And then this block off right over here, we're going to take out. So you'll be able to get some of the metal back that you put back into this. Or that you put into this uh, earlier. And look, I didn't even tier 2 that up. Feels bad. Alright, so here's what we're going to do to start off. We are going to go over to our northwest amplifier, where my B is. And we are going to implement some of the pathing that we went over. So we're going to look at it right now. 
Husks are going to come in here. They're going to come right along this wall and they're going to go to the B amplifier. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to add an edited wall. So we're going to take out the top six tiles in the far right one. And we're going to have this little uh, edited wall piece. We're going to place it here. We're going to flip it and we're going to place it here. So what happens now is the husks are going to walk along here. They're going to be like, oh shit, we have to go off to the right. They're going to walk through here. They're going to go through the middle of the tunnel. They're going to walk over here and then walk here instead of just skirting past it. So that's the purpose of those edited floors. And we're going to tier two those. So tier two and tier two. We're then going to add an extra bit of damage right here over this wall launcher. We're going to add a ceiling electric field. We're still using the same traps as last time. Oh my gosh. Same traps as last time. So this is the tier one level 10 ceiling electric field that we used. And we're going to place that there. That way we can add a little bit of damage as they get hit by this wall launcher. Uh, so it's not necessarily like just redundant um, recycling. All right. And we're going to do that for a couple of these amps, right? Uh, we're going to place a little bit more, uh, what's the word for it? Uh, pathing. Okay. So now we're going to head over towards this amplifier and we're going to add a little bit more to it. So what are we going to do here exactly? Well, if you notice, husks are going to go up this way. They're going to come right here and they're going to skirt along this edge and go right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit extra of damage on this because a smasher spawns here on this uh, amp in this SSD. Um, smashers are a big deal and they have a lot of health. So we're going to add a little bit more damage to this and add a little bit more pathing so that the husks are sure to be dead. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a floor here or a ceiling, a ceiling. All right. We're also going to have a gas trap on those. I'm pretty sure we're going to have a gas trap. Let me hit my reference screenshot so I don't screw that up for y'all. So let's see. Yeah, gas trap. So gas trap, gas trap. All right. We're then going to have the same edited wall that I had, like this. We're going to have one right here and one right here. And that's just for pathing purposes so that the husks don't uh, go along this wall and they have to go through here and then along here, right? Uh, that way you're almost guaranteed to get that recycling and you're almost guaranteed to get a hit off with the traps, which is perfect, all right? And then we'll go on to start building the, the new amplifier that we got. So upgrade, upgrade, okay? So now we have to deal with our C amplifier. So we already went over the spawns. So we have to do this west and we have to go with the south. Let's start off with the south first. So they are going to be spawning down here, around here, right? So let's look at the ways they can go up. They can go up this ramp, up through this cave right here, up this way, and straight to the amplifier here. They can walk here, up this ramp, straight to the amplifier, up through this little cave section over here. They can walk, I think there's a ramp uh, around towards the mine area up this way and towards the amplifier and there's also a main ramp right here that they're going to walk up so we have to cover all of those areas as well as you're going to get some lobbers and flingers they're going to walk up that ramp up this natural ramp over here and they're going to walk this way so we have to cover all of that for this so the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that lobbers and flingers so the people the husks that throw husks and the husks that throw the skull balls we want to make sure that they're not going to be able to hit our amplifier um, from any weird angles. So we're going to place a wall right here. So if we don't know where we are, uh, we're at this natural ramp right here. We're going to walk all the way over here towards this cave and we're going to place a wall. We're going to place another wall, a wall, wall, and wall. So what you're going to see is this is just going to add like a little bit one layer right here to make sure that the lobbers and flingers don't walk over here and can throw from right here. Okay. So you're going to make sure to tier two that. We're then going to worry about the husks that are coming up right through here, right? Um, so the husks that come up through there are going to want to walk right here and up this ramp. So what we're going to do is place a wall, 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 and that should be good, okay? 
and we're going to make a tunnel out of that. So here's how we're going to make that tunnel. We're going to start right here, so right where this is, and right where our opposite of our other wall, and we're going to place a wall. We're going to place another wall and ceilings above and floors on the bottom. We're going to place a ceiling here and a uh, floor here. We're then going to add an a little edited wall right here, so they have to walk longer in our tunnel. They, if they walk along this side, they have to walk a little bit farther into this, so they're going to get hit by this trap. Okay. We're then going to uh, look at the pathway up here, right? So if the husks want to come from here and come up this rampway, how are we going to kill them? So we're going to add a wall right here, a ceiling, a ceiling, a wall, a cone right here so they, so they don't break through this little wall right here, a floor, a floor, a floor, or a ceiling. A wall, a wall, a ceiling, a wall, a wall, a ceiling, and then we're going to add our little edited wall. All right. And now we'll go over the traps that go on these. So we're going to start at this far left side right here. Remember, we're going to tier two all this. I'm not going to let you guys escape that. Tier two and tier three, you guys are better than leaving it tier one. So we're going to tier two all of it. All right. So upgrade, 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 upgrade. Okay, cool. So now that we have all that upgraded, we're gonna start here. So initially I have a green wooden floor spike. This can be blue, this can be purple, this can be legendary. Use the best you have. Um, but I have the best I have right now is green, so we're gonna place it. So this green wooden floor spike is gonna slow the husks down so that they're gonna get spend longer in your tunnel to get hit by more traps. We're gonna have a dynamo on the left side, a dynamo on the right side, and a ceiling gas trap to mainly thin out the husks. We're gonna have another ceiling gas trap, a floor freeze trap to catch the husks and make them take more damage, a dynamo, and a dynamo. And these are just for to burst the husks down, so it basically one shots them. We're then gonna have a wall launcher to push them back all the way through the back to the back of the tunnel we're going to have a green wooden floor spike to slow them all down again. So these wooden floor spikes will slow them down for a tile and a half distance. So they're going to be slowed all the way up until about the end of this floor freeze trap. And then they're going to walk normal speed again. But then they'll get slowed down by the next one. We're then going to add another wall dynamo right here to the right. All right. And then a ceiling electric field above. So um, this ceiling electric field is mainly because husks like to kind of skirt this a little bit, even if we have this in here. Um, they're going to spend less time in this tile than they would the other ones. So we want to make sure that they're going to get hit by a burst damage trap. And the ceiling electric field has good range, um, and it will have like a burst uh, damage effect that will hit them. Okay, the next we're going to do is we're going to add a ceiling above here, because I forgot to add that one. We're going to have a wall launcher on the right wall, a wall launcher on the right wall, and a wall launcher here. So this is where we're going to start using terrain for recycling and get you guys thinking about how to like push husks off of things. So the first thing if you notice is there's this big old cliff down here, right? And all this space down here. So if you push a husk down there, the husk is going to have to walk all the way around here again, back up the ramp just to get back through the tunnel. So that's the what we call recycling, and that's going to delay the husks, especially for the timer missions, where you, you don't have to use necessarily use as many trap uses anymore. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to add a ceiling electric field. We're going to add a gas trap, I want to say. So a gas trap, a ceiling electric field, a wooden floor spike. So this is just going to be a green wooden floor spike. We're going to add a wall dynamo. Um, now, if I didn't have this low wall here, this would be a very good spot for a wall launcher because this wall launcher would push them into this tunnel, which would then activate this wall launcher and push them back here. Um, but we don't necessarily need that complexity just yet. We're going to add a ceiling gas trap and a floor freeze trap at the center section. We're then going to come up here and we're going to place a dynamo on the right wall and a dynamo on the left wall as well as a ceiling electric field. All right. 
we're then going to come uh, directly to this uh, ceiling and we're going to have a ceiling gas trap with a uh, wall launcher right here and a wall dynamo. And this is going to be pretty overkill for what you guys need it for, but it will make sure that everything's dead. And that's the good thing is you want everything to die here. And I want to say this is a bad ramp. Yeah, this is a bad ramp. As you guys can see, my foot's not level, so we can't have a floor at the top of this or else the house is going to walk up it. Now let's look at the other pathways. If we look over here, the husk could theoretically walk up this right here, walk all the way up here, and then walk up this ramp over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to block off this pathway. So we're going to have one wall, a floor, a cone, and then one wall. We're going to upgrade these to tier two. If you do not have this amount, the husks will walk up here after getting recycled from this wall launcher and they will beat on this. So make sure you do have these tier two and that they are um, the amount that I specify. You can also, if you are scared of um, the husk going that way, you can add like a wall dynamo on this bottom wall to make sure that you nuke down any husk that wants to wander over there. But um, this should work, but I'll place it just for you guys. So we'll place a wall dynamo there. We're then gonna come over here and I notice uh, that if they spawn over here, there's a way over by the mines and we can't really access that with this uh, bubble. But if they walk all the way up here, there's a ramp right there and they can walk up all the way over here and come towards the amp. So I've already placed a wall here through testing, but I can't break the wall. But um, if you guys need help upgrading it, just place it and have your builds out and you can upgrade it while your builds are out. Otherwise, you can't really touch it. But if you have your builds out, you can touch it. See, the menu's up. Okay, but otherwise I can't. So we're gonna place a uh, wall just past this bubble, a wall right here, all right. We're then going to place a cone, a cone, we're going to edit it facing the south, this one towards the southeast and this one towards the southwest. All right. We're then going to, um, hold on, give me two seconds. We're going to edit it like that. We're gonna place a wall here, wall here, and wall here. We're gonna make sure all of that's tier two. I'm not gonna hop off your butts for that because I wanna make sure that you guys make sure your stuff is tier two or tier three. So we're gonna upgrade it as we go. But um, that should ensure that the husks don't wanna walk up that way. Um, and we'll make it so that you guys are gonna have a happy time with your SSD6. Cause uh, SSD6 is your last one before you can go to Plankerton. And building this uh, and any of these going up from here is gonna require you to have a little bit of knowledge about how to path the husks and um, start thinking about ideas on ways to get the husks to go in one direction so you don't necessarily have to worry about husks going everywhere. All right, so next we're gonna worry about this side, uh, this is C, um, west. So we're gonna look at the spawns. They're gonna spawn up there. They're gonna spawn all the way back there and they're gonna spawn all the way back here. So if we look at the ways they can come up, they can come up right here, all the way over here, and straight to the amp. They can come up this ramp right here and come up towards the amplifier. And they can come all the way over here to the left, and they can come up right here and go towards the amplifier. Um, so how are we gonna approach this? Well, we're actually gonna block off most of uh, this side right here. We're gonna block off this side and we're gonna make our tunnel right here at this choke point so that we have to do a little block off elsewhere, okay? So the first thing is first, we're gonna place a cone here, a wall and a wall and a wall. This is just gonna limit the distance the husk can walk through. It's gonna block off a little bit or I shouldn't say necessarily block off, but it should um, it should impede the path of the husks so that they uh, can't walk a little bit farther to the south. And we're gonna limit their pathway doing that. So remember, tier two all of this. So tier two all of them. All right. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna build the actual tunnel. So we're also gonna look at where they come from. We're gonna let them come from this way 
and we're gonna let them come from that way. So we're gonna do what we did just right here with this block off, and we're gonna do it right here again. So one, two, three walls, except for on the natural terrain side, and we're gonna have a cone facing the northwest. We're gonna have a ceiling here, a ceiling here. We're going to have a floor here, ceiling, floor, floor, ceiling, wall, 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 floor, ceiling, okay? So the husks are gonna walk right through here. They're gonna come through here and they're gonna walk towards the amplifier. We're going to add an edited wall like we normally do. So hold on if I can get the edit right. So the top six taken out and the one to the right. And we're gonna have that right here as well. So the husks have to walk around those. So we're gonna upgrade all these to tier two real quick. Tier two, tier two, tier two, tier two, tier two, tier two. Boom. And then this cone right here. So we're gonna upgrade all of that to tier two. Uh, simple enough. Now, actually, we're gonna do something different. Since the theme of today is about edited floors and edited uh, walls, we're gonna we're gonna do something different. We're gonna take this edited this floor and we're gonna edit it. We're gonna take out the northeast tile. We're going to re-edit it and we're going to take out the southwest tile. It should make this diagonal floor. We're also going to take the northwest tile out of this floor tile and the southeast tile out of this floor tile. So you, as you can see, these floors line up. All right, so it's going to path them farther to the right along this tunnel. Okay? And to keep husk from like being awkward, we're going to add a little edited wall right here. So the same wall edit we've been doing and we're going to place it right here. All right, so that should make the husks walk. They can't walk through this, so they're gonna walk around it and around it. And then we're gonna edit edited wall right here. So all six up top, one off to the left. And we're gonna add edited wall right here. So when they come out, they have to go through this tile a little bit still. All right, so one of the perks about this um, new edited floor we placed is um, that you can actually bounce husks off of it with wall launchers and that's one of the cool things about it. So first things first is we're going to place a ceiling electric field here and then we're going to place uh, a ceiling gas trap here. We're going to place green wooden floor spikes here and then we can't place this uh, floor trap on these edited floors so that's the downside of that. But to the left wall, we're going to place a wall dynamo. And on the right wall, we're actually going to place a wall launcher. So now this might look strange, but a husk is going to walk through here. They're going to get hit by this wall launcher, hit this wall, and they're still going to have that momentum. So they're going to bounce off it and go this way. So they'll go boom and go this way. So you'll get a little bit of recycling with this wall launcher back through the tunnel. We're then going to have a gas trap here. We're going to place another gas trap right here, a wall launcher, and then a dynamo on the right side. And this wall launcher, if a husk is on this right side, they'll get pushed back this way. And if a husk is right here towards the end, they'll get hit against this wall and back towards this way. So they'll spend longer under this gas trap. We're then going to place a freeze trap. We're going to place a wall launcher. Uh, since the floor pathing takes them to the right over here, the only area they're going to get wall launched isn't back into this area. It's going to be back into here and then potentially off of this edited uh, floor. So they'll end up back towards your tunnel. And we're going to add a wall dynamo. Okay. And then on this last tile, uh, we're going to add a gas trap as well for the ceiling. Now, the husk should die through that. This is a lot of pathing, and these edited floors actually give you more time with your gas trap hitting a husk than they would actually with a wooden floor spike, which is kind of cool. And they path a little bit farther. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to block off this farther, farther most north side, right? And we're going to focus on deterring them from going this way. So we're going to start by finding the edge of this ramp, this natural ramp. We're going to place a wall here. We're going to place a wall here, all right, and we're going to place a wall here. We're going to place a cone facing the northwest, 
So if you don't know how to do that, it's a cone like this, facing the northwest, and then surrounded in walls. We're then gonna place one cone right here. And that's really it um, for this block off right here. So we're gonna make sure we're tier twoing all of this. Make sure you are tier tier twoing it, or tier threeing it. Tier threeing it's gonna be better, but tier two is the minimum I want you guys to do. And um, the sole reason I have you guys do that is so that you guys won't forget. It won't work very well if you tier one it, or if it's just tier one, okay? Now, we are gonna build around our amplifier. You should always be building around your amplifier, unless in very specific circumstances. So we're just gonna build around our amplifier and a plus sign. And I like to add a floor, a wall, and a floor like this. Um, so A, I can sit on it, and B, um, it helps with lobbers to not throw at your tunnels. So we're gonna go all around and we're gonna upgrade this all the way, okay? And that should be about it um, for this build for SSD6. We'll add the gameplay in the background, but it's a continuation and uh, should help you out with your SSD6 based off my SSD5 design. And we're also going to be able to um, continue on with this uh, specific trapping style as we keep adding on to the amplifiers. So I do hope you guys have enjoyed this and I hope I didn't miss anything. 99% sure I got everything, so that's cool. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, we're going to go with a Plankerton 1 next. Plankerton SSD 1, as that's, you're going to launch the rocket right after this mission. Um, and then we'll do Plankerton 1, then we'll do uh, Stone 1 SSD 7, because I don't think you should do your SSD 7 through 10 immediately after you finish your SSD 6, because they are a little bit harder and uh, you might need to move up to tier 2 materials and upgrade your traps a little bit. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys like this video, please leave a like on the video and consider commenting down below. I'm going to show you guys gameplay of this next, and please share this around if your friends need help. Alright, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Peace.